why this is what I've been doing over my spring break. What have you been doing? Ah, uh, just kidding. I've been doing this. Oh man, look at that view! It's beautiful! It makes you wanna cry! What? I miss you guys. I wanna hear from you. So send me a message and tell me what you're doing during this quarantine. Anyways, personally, I've been up to a ton of stuff. I've been working on a new language. I've been fixing cars like crazy. Fixing cars? Are you crazy? Anyways. Uh, I want to know what you're up to, so let me know, and I miss your face, so uh, message me whenever you see this. Thanks. Hi, HY. I miss you guys so, so much. These online hangouts have kept me sane. Also, I've been doing some art, and I did the thing you're not supposed to do, which is cut your hair off, so <laughs> I miss you guys. Hey, what's up, house youth? How's it going? This is Pastor Steven here. I'm Pastor Lisa. Hey, we just want to say we miss you guys so much. It's true. Uh, man, this season has been incredibly weird. Um, we're so excited to get to gather again one day, um, and we're hopeful for that day to come soon. Um, but in the meantime, we're also excited to take advantage of what we have um, in front of us. And right now, that's this camera and the ability to talk and hang out online. I think it's really awesome and an amazing opportunity to still get to connect somehow. So something we've been dreaming about doing forever is actually doing a house youth YouTube. Um, we were actually gonna do this back when we were still gathering and just post like really fun, good content. Um, so we just get to do that now. We're really excited about it. So this is what it's gonna look like every Wednesday. Uh, you can uh, find our premiered videos every Wednesday at 6.30, the same time as if we were to meet in person on a Wednesday night. We also really wanna include you guys in these videos. So if you wanna say hi to your house youth fam and send us a quick shout out video, you can do that by sending it to my email, which I'm gonna put right here. Um, and send me those clips and I'd love to edit them in for next week's video. So you may have noticed something that we started on Monday. Uh, we're doing this thing called HY Live at 5. So every Monday and Friday, we're going to go live on Instagram and Facebook at 5 p.m. Um, just to hang out, just to spend some time together. Um, we're really excited about it. It's super fun. It was, we had a great time on Monday already. Um, so you can ask questions. Um, we just hang out with us. Um, we're also going to be inviting whoever wants to come onto the Instagram feed um, just to join us for a quick call and it's going to be a blast. So for this week's video, we just wanted to hang out face to face or face to screen and we just want to say hey, um, but we have some tips on how to enjoy your quarantine. So this is what we're doing to try to enjoy and make the most of our quarantine and our stay at home orders. The first thing that we recommend is finding a routine that works for you. Hey babe, can you make me a sandwich? I'm sorry, that's not my routine. We highly recommend going to bed at the same time and waking up at the same time. It makes a huge difference. And then after you wake up, make sure that you're doing something consistently, like spend time with the Lord or make coffee spend time with the Lord. Just make sure that you're incorporating some time with the Lord. The second thing we recommend is to get active. Try not to just sit on the couch all day, even though it's super tempting. Get out and go for a walk, um, you know, go for a run, make, do a workout in your room or in your living room. Um, it's, it's so important to get active, um, it's healthy for your body, healthy for your brain. Your body will thank you later for it, I promise. The third thing that we want to encourage you on is physical distance, but not social distance.
really empowering um, to know that like life's difficulties aren't setbacks but they're like a stage for us to step on with confidence and just propel ourselves into the future. So while we need to stay home and, and keep our distance from other people, make sure you stay connected to other people because guess what, we still need each other. Um, we, we've been really enjoying our time doing FaceTime, doing Zoom calls. Um, I think last week we played um, some Jackbox games with some friends on a Zoom call. It was super fun. Um, but just make sure that you call your friends. Call um, grandpa, grandma, whoever it is that you need to connect with. Don't do life alone even though we're supposed to be isolated right now. The fourth thing that we recommend is that you limit your social media time. Get off social media and make me a sandwich. Are you kidding? It's really easy to spend a lot of time on your phones and on your devices. But something that's super important is that we realize that that has a power and effect on our souls and our mind, um, just on our mental health. So it maybe if you're having trouble um, limiting your social media time, get some help. Have somebody keep you accountable for how much time you're actually spending on your device. The fifth thing is watch a good movie. Leftovers. Enjoy. There is no flavor. There are no spices. Where are the chips? Somebody stole them. Did you not tell them that they were the Lord's chips? I was trying to. You are useless, Ignacio. Finally, brother. This is the worst lunch I ever had. Your only job is to cook. Do you not realize I have had diarrhea since Easter's? Okay. Uh, watch a good TV show. Watch a sermon online. We really recommend Transformation Church. Pastor Mike Todd is amazing. You should check them out on YouTube. Uh, there's also another show called The Chosen on YouTube. Um, it's all about the life of Jesus. Um, you should totally check it out. I've heard it's awesome. I think we're going to start it really soon. Um, and there's also some really good movies out there. Number six is work on a passion. Babe, what are you doing? Working on my passions. Uh, do something that you really like to do but never have the time to do in our other version of our lives. <laughs> um, this is a time where you can learn an instrument, uh, learn how to paint, uh, learn sign language, learn a different language, do something fun and empowering to yourselves. The next thing is make sure you're getting some good sleep. Back up monkeys. It's super important and I know it's really tempting and hard because it's easy to go to bed late every night but it's super healthy to go to bed at a good time wake up at a good hour and actually start your day get into that routine we, that we were talking about. Um, and lastly, uh, we just want to say, um, don't feel guilty for taking a day off. Don't feel guilty for just relaxing. We all need that day off. We all need that rest time. As much as this time is awesome to um, catch up on things that we don't normally have time for or you know read a book or all, all the things that we can do in this season it's super important also that you just take a day off and you get and you get a break and get some rest so again I know we didn't have worship tonight we didn't have preaching um, we're really looking forward to doing that in the future on this channel um, but we just again we wanted to show our faces say hello say how much we miss you guys we seriously cannot wait to meet and gather back at House Youth um, every Wednesday at 6.30, make you some Red Bull, make you some coffee, <laughs> worship Jesus together, and get into the Word of God. Yeah. Just super excited, um, but at the same time, we wanna take advantage of this season. It's really unique. Um, there's something beautiful about the ability to connect online, um, and we're gonna take every advantage that we have. Um, so we just wanna say we love you guys, we miss you. We also wanna encourage you that, um, 
we're going through something together for the first time. Um, so your parents, your grandparents, uh, your siblings, they've never gone through this either. So make sure that you're extending grace to one another. Um, sometimes when you uh, put us all in, in the same box, there can be some tensions and some frustrations that come out or uh, maybe you've, you're upset about not being able to go back to school this year. I know some of you are just devastated by that. And we want you to know that we're here for you in this circumstance. We know that it might not be the best answer or the answer you're looking for, but we want you to know that we're here for you. So if at any point you need prayer or you need somebody to talk to, please message us on one of our uh, social media accounts. We've got somebody there who's a like ready and able to talk to you and to encourage you and to let you know that it's okay to feel what you're feeling. Um, but we're all feeling it together is so important. So um, until next week, we'll see you guys then. Um, we're praying for you uh, and just try to make the best of everything that you have right now. Um, I firmly believe that maybe someday in the future, we will look back at this time together and we'll be really thankful for it. Take some time to drop a comment down below and tell us how you've been spending your quarantine, your stay at home order. Um, what have you been doing to uh, maximize your time? What have you been doing to waste time? What have you been doing just to have fun? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget in two days, you can catch us HY Live at five on Instagram, Facebook. We're so excited to hang out with you. And since you're here, go ahead, like, and subscribe. <laughs> Bye guys. Bye.